Hey y'all, here OS Reviews. Although we are firmly in the digital era of music playback with our smartphones capable of streaming as well as playing back MP3 tracks, there is a bit of nostalgia involved in revisiting formats of yesteryear. And so some recent examples that we have looked at include cassette players, Walkman-style-esque devices here in 2024, as well as other kind of vinyl record-inspired speakers and players as well. But today we're taking a look at a CD player. Now out of all of those forms, this is of course the most current, since CD is still a digital format at the end of the day compared to analog that you see on vinyl as well as on cassette players. But if you're still looking for a CD player, then this recent model here has a little bit more of an aesthetic touch. It's transparent, and the CD player is presented vertically, standing upright. It actually reminds me of some record players in that sense. You can more easily see the disc in there, as well as with LED lights, kind of flash and illuminate, even acting as a nightlight or a glow lamp in the dark can also be used as a wireless speaker. So if you connect your phone to this CD player, if you're not actually playing back a CD, you can still use it like any other wireless mini speaker and listen to music that way. So it has both Bluetooth receiver as well as transmitter functionality for connecting as well as pairing devices to it. Now it also has a built-in micro SD card so you can use it like a MP3 player as well, or you can even use it to record your CD content onto an SD card. So acts as a converter, which is built on in, should be quite easy to use compared to finding software. And of course, most laptops these days no longer have a CD or DVD slot built on in. This model has a 4,000 mAh capacity battery, which is rated for upwards of 8 hours of music playback using the CD inside, which is pretty decent. Probably because of its design, it is currently the number one new release in the portable CD player category. Although, it's kind of interesting because it is a portable player since there is a built-in battery. You can take it with you when on the go or, of course, plug it into the wall or a power bank. But it's not really in the same wheelhouse as some of those Walkman-style players which are a little bit more slim, they don't really stand upright. This is gonna be harder to slide into a sleeve, for example. I think it's more meant as a stationary object that you place on a desk more than anything. In the packaging, we have, of course, the player itself. Quick user guide presented in various languages, including English, Japanese, German, and you also get kind of a warranty card. Apparently, this company has been around since 1999, although it's not one I'm really familiar with. And you also get an auxiliary cable if you want to connect it to wired external speakers, as well as a USB Type-C cable here for charging. It takes about two hours to fully recharge the 4,000 mAh capacity cell. Removing the sleeve here, we have just the player itself. And by default, it looks like there is kind of a decorative cardboard onto the CD slot that also has the company logo that you can then, of course, remove. And first impressions being that the build quality is made predominantly out of polycarbonate plastic, but it doesn't feel too flimsy. It doesn't really creak or cringe as I'm handling it. It has a solid weight overall. And then there is a rotary dial that you can use to change the volume higher and lower. Once you flick it on, you can see the LED display here also pop onto life. Pretty easy to read. Up top here, we have the built-in loudspeaker, as well as a dial here for changing the LED colors. You can also skip track, play pause, as well as cycle through different modes, including the Bluetooth. The back here has almost this cyberpunk transparent design going on. It's not quite the same effect as actual printed circuit boards that we have seen on certain, say, transparent phones or power banks, but still tries to go with that overall aesthetic. On the very back, you also have the micro SD card slot, again, for writing onto the memory or playing back local tracks uh, as an MP3 player, auxiliary 3.5 millimeter jack for headphones as well as speakers. You even get an optical slot here for higher quality home stereo units, as well as the Type-C port there for charging. And by the way, in the MP3 player mode with a micro SD card inserted, it can play back hi-fi flack lossless audio tracks as well. I do also like some of the screws and accents here made out of metal that just kind of shines and glimmers a little bit more, showing some good attention to detail. Now we can also open up the front door, and it seems to be a magnetic door that kind of snaps into place. And removing it is actually quite cool because you can now make out some more of the circuitry inside, including the reader head there for the CD. But unfortunately, this part is kind of tucked away from view, unless you don't have any CD popped in there. You get a little bit more of that cyberpunk effect. But of course, again, it's not going to be visible on the back. So part of me wishes that they would have made the back also completely transparent if they wanted to go with that overall theme. But it is what it is. All right, so popping in the CD there and closing it up, 
This is kind of what it looks like, still quite attractive, especially depending on the type of CD that you have. It just kind of glows and shimmers, making it quite an interesting decor piece since everything here is still visible. Let's see what happens if we turn it on. And again, it will begin to play back there shortly. You can also see the LED lights start to flicker onto life. It actually makes it look quite cool, I have to say, from a design and aesthetic point of view. And as long as you're relatively kind of stable, it should be fine. But again, like other products that have a mechanical element, uh, including record players and vinyl players, you do have to be in a more flat surface. If you're constantly shaking it up and down, that might just add a little bit more wobble or distortion to the sound. But as long as you're in a flat area, it seems to work well enough. And again, the resolution of the tracks at CD quality is still guaranteed to be quite rich and detailed uh, based on what source you're playing back. Let's also try dimming some of the lights and see what it looks like in a more darker environment. And that glow just really comes across uh, quite prominently. So it looks quite good, although some of the reflective mirror work on the CD itself uh, becomes a little harder to see. Definitely not bad though, and still one of the most beautiful CD players that I've seen uh, recently there. You can see a side profile of what it looks like, as well as here on the rear. And let's take a quick look at some of the other RGB effects that you have on here. Tapping once again, we'll go into a single shade that then slowly transitions into the other colors, uh, one by one as you can tell there, a little more of a subtle way. And then tapping on it once again will allow us to go into a white light. Tapping again will go into a single shade that will then stay on this particular blue color. Once more into a kind of an orange, softer, warmer shade as kind of a reading mode of sorts, similar to a candle light. And once more into the RGB effect that we saw there from before. So those are the modes that you have available. I think the RGB I see one with all the different colors might be my favorite one although they all look quite good and it's slightly diffused using the plastic acrylic here on the rear. Let's also go through kind of an example of what it looks like here on the back as I'm changing between some of those different modes. Again, still looking quite good and pretty evenly lit. And one other advantage of a digital format like this a CD player is compared to something like a cassette player, you do have track information built on in, making it a little easier to skip back and forth between certain songs that you're listening to. Just by tapping on that corresponding key, you can skip into the second track, the third track, the fourth track, and it's still pretty responsive and fast, similar to on a smartphone or on an MP3 player. Alright, so turning the volume down, it gives you a quick example of what the built-in speakers sound like, which for something so small actually isn't shabby in terms of volume output. It doesn't have too much distortion at the higher volume levels either in terms of hissing. Uh, that being said, there's still small drivers at the end of the day, so if you want better sounding bass and even more detail resolution, you can obviously connect it to an external speaker. When you are listening to music using this as an MP3 player or a Bluetooth speaker, the CD part will stop spinning. Although you can still see the RGB lights, which will continue to be on. And you can also long hold, I believe, for a couple of seconds to turn the lights completely off. As far as nice to haves, uh, this model does not come with any wireless remote functionality, which I know some of the other freestanding CD players of yesteryear tended to come with if you want to control it from afar or across the room. Well, you can't really do that on this model. And I think that might be a little bit of a missed opportunity because it has built-in Bluetooth. In fact, again, a pretty up-to-date Bluetooth 5.3 chip. So they could have also designed perhaps a companion app for this and given you the option to use your phone as a remote. And while we're on the topic of nice-to-haves, I would say if they could build in maybe an FM radio function as well as maybe an alarm clock mode, that would just make it even more well-rounded. So again, just a couple more extras and modes that could be worth considering or adding down the line, maybe in a second generation revision. So that is more or less it as far as our very quick hands-on review of this C229 portable CD player. And this one is really all about the design with that translucent window as well as the RGB lighting effects imitating something a little bit more expensive than it really is. So pretty cool looking and also functional enough as far as what it's advertised to do. So you can check out more details if interested in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. Again, that's been the hot C229 portable CD player.